Hey everybody, it's Matthew. Welcome back to the channel. We got a fun angle today. This is a little bit different. We got the other side of the room here today. Anyway, guys, I'm going to talk about something interesting I did last week. Actually, exactly a week ago, in fact. I went to my first real rock concert. And with how I talk about different bands and things, you'd think I'd have been to some prior to the age of 28. That seems a little late to do it, but... I finally got to my real rock show, went to see uh, Clutch live at Revolution Live down in Fort Lauderdale. I have to cut in here real quick, guys, to remind you to subscribe. Remember, it's the easiest thing you can do on a YouTube video. The button is right down there. It's right down there. You just go there, you click on it, you tap on it if you're on your phone. It's very easy. It's the simplest thing you can do to help support a creator on YouTube. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that button. Thanks a lot. And it was one of the greatest things I think I've ever experienced in my life. Now, I have been to some things before. You know, I've been to, like, uh, shows, but those are, like, you know, tenured acts that perform at specific locations all the time. That's a different kind of thing. That's like the Vegas style type of thing, you know. Um, I have been to one small blues show that I don't remember much about, even though it was only like five years ago, but that wasn't a big thing. I didn't really consider that a major thing. But this show, this, this was the big one. And what a way to start your concert going experience by seeing these guys for the first time. Clutch is, of course, an incredible live band. These guys have been doing this stuff for 32 years straight, so, you know, they know how to put on a show. Of course, you've got a Dan laying down the low end on the bass, and that thing thunders out. Tim brings out his fun, crazy riffs, and you really hear that guitar and that wah pedal coming through. And, of course, John Paul hitting those drums sounds like he's going to pound them literally into the floor. Like, he was hitting the drums so incredibly hard that you probably didn't need him mic'd up to be able to hear him, but he was anyway. And of course, Neil, of course, in top form, doing all his gestures and his hand stunts, running back and forth across the stage, jumping around. Like, the guy's an incredible front man. He does not stop moving. He's always doing something. So, you know, it's not a boring show ever when you go to see Clutch. But anyway, let's talk about the set itself. You know, I was sitting... Uh, down underneath the PA, a little bit adjacent to it, but kind of underneath it, which can be a pretty crazy thing. It can be kind of hard to hear some things down there. I was having trouble hearing the guitar a little bit, so I didn't keep my earplugs in the whole time. It wasn't that loud in there. It was obviously loud enough that if you, you know, went the whole show without any kind of hearing protection, that would be kind of rough on you, but, you know, uh, you weren't going to go deaf, necessarily, so I was able to take an earplug out every so often to get the full experience of the sound. Oh, and it was a pretty good spot. It was really close to the stage, actually. Hopefully I can show you guys some pictures. The quality's probably terrible on them, but, you know, I have some, at least, anyway. Um, we were down kind of in the VIP section because I was, of course, in my uh, wheelchair since we were out and about, which, you know, sometimes that has its perks. You know, their ADA section is also the VIP area, so we got a nice seat to watch the boys. Of course, it's a, normally a standing room only venue, though, so I say seating, but that was really just for me. Uh, anyway, talking about the set, you know, they kicked it off with Passive Restraints, which is a song I don't know super well. I don't know Rats super well either. That was the second song. They played a lot of their old early stuff at this show, which I'm not super familiar with most of it, but, you know, it's still a fun time. Of course, they got to Shogun Name Marcus as the third song, and that's when the place really lit up. Those guys were thundering through that song, and, of course, once the chorus opened, so did the pit.
and people down in the pit were going crazy. They were moshing, they were jumping up and down and cheering and all the typical things you would expect from a crazy wild rock show. Uh, I'm glad to not have to be in it, if I'm honest. I'm not a fan of mosh pits, but, you know, of course, people down there are there to have some fun, so they're getting into it. And then El Jefe Speaks, which is a funny song. The lyrics are kind of strange. Of course, they went in a subtle hustle. Tyrant, so that's a later one. That's their big break album, you know. And then it went to Worm Drink after that, which was one I was very excited to hear because that's one of my favorite ones on Blast Tyrant. So, you know, that's a good moment there to get to hear that song. Of course, we jumped into the new album, Slaughter Beach, and they played Slaughter Beach right after that, in addition to doing uh, Strive for Excellence. That's a fun song. That's got a really, you know, four on the floor repetitive riff that really you know gets the blood pumping they play dragonfly don't know that song too well then they went to burning beard that's really that's a favorite for me too i kind of know how to play that song a little bit i played it wrong watching how tim was playing it obviously he plays it a little bit differently from what i was doing of course the way he's doing it does make sense it does require a lot of hand movement down the neck to be able to actually do it and then, of course, they played In the Great Shining Path of Monster Trucks. That is a hilariously fun title from, you know, their first album, Transnational Speedway League, which actually turned 30 this year. So that's a cool milestone to think about. And then, of course, back to some more Slaughter Beach stuff. They played uh, Red Alert Boss Metal Zone. That's a fun track, too. That one's really cool because it's got a variety of different things going on in in it in different rhythms and you know the riff changes up quite a bit throughout the song so that's a really fun one that's not a dull moment at all and then of course the song of the tour that's why we got the shirt they played Nosferatu Matre of course the tour was called No Stars Above and that is the opening line in the chorus of that song so you know we gotta have the t-shirt in the video when we're talking about it of course uh, then going to Rock and Roll Outlaw which I don't remember too well, and then Escape from Prison Planet, which has got a really weird vocal rhythm to it. It's kind of like rap, but it's like a really lazy version of rap. It's a really bizarre thing because he talks fast, but, you know, the speed of the words varies and his pitch kind of goes up and down on that. He does have a lot of, there are a lot of tracks where Neil is kind of rapping on them, which is pretty fun to hear. That's one of those that's kind of like that. And I mean, hearing it, that vocal sounds impossible for anybody else to do. I don't know how you keep track of the flow of the words on that. Of course, they hit Space Grass and Jesus on the Dashboard, you know, that's in that song. That's a fun one. I think, is that song about weed? Probably. It's probably about weed. That's a fun one. Of course, the mandatory encore happens, and they get to Big News 1, which is a fun song. And then the main event, always, to close the show is DC Sound Attack. Go fun. Mike Dillon is out there on per percussion with the boys for that song. And that's a really fun one. It turns into a percussion duet between Jean-Paul and Mike. And they just jam along at the end. And, of course, it's got cowbell. you got to have more cowbell always. And that was, you know, the close of the set. A big close there. Everyone was happy and cheering. And it was a fun time. You know, it was a pretty good venue. It wasn't awful. You know, sometimes venues like that for rock shows can be hit or miss, but Revolution Live is pretty good. They seem to run things pretty well, have an ample amount of security. Seems like a good place to go see a show. I wouldn't mind going back there again to see another one. But anyway, that's a, some, that's a moment I, I'm never going to forget going to that show. It's always fun when you lock eyes with Neil in the middle of the song. He's very good at working the crowd, though, and always looking around and pointing to different people he sees and things like that in the middle of songs, and it's very you know, kind of personal, intimate kind of thing that's very fun. And you can really tell those guys care about their craft and have a whole lot of fun doing it. Even when they're all, you know, just over 50 years old, they're still kicking it really hard on the road. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video talking about clutch. This is a fun little thing that I thought I could make just to detail my experience with my first ever rock show and my first clutch show. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, of course. Leave a comment down below if you'd like. Talk about the band if you'd like. Talk about other rock shows that you've seen that were really memorable for you. And anyway, I will see you guys next time for another video. Have a good one.